Hello Internet, welcome to another EMFT tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to study Maxwell's second equation. Maxwell's second equation is derived from Gauss's law of magnetostatics and it is perhaps the most simplest equation out of the set of Maxwell's four equations and one good thing about this equation is that it does not change its form in any um, special case may it be the case of perfect dielectric may it be the case of free space or any other case so pretty straightforward and uh, easy to understand let's dive into the derivation of Maxwell's second equation from Gauss's law of magnetostatics. The Gauss's law of magnetostatics states that the total flux, first of all let's take up a volume and uh, we place a magnet inside the volume. Now Gauss's law states that the total flux phi I'll mention here this is total flux and this is magnetic. The total magnetic flux phi out of the surface of a closed volume is zero. Now this is very very easy to understand because the number of field lines which are going out of the surface of the volume are equal to the number of field lines coming inside because monopoles do not exist. Every magnet will have a north and a south pole so the number of field lines that are going outside of the surface of the volume will also enter the surface of the volume. So the net field lines coming out or going inside remain equivalent to zero. So if you can understand this very basic uh, concept which stems from the fact that monopoles do not exist. So this becomes our star point that leads to a very simple equation that the total flux is zero. Uh, a more appropriate jargon would be the net flux out of the surface of an enclosed volume is zero. Now if we talk about <coughs> magnetic flux density which is by the way B this can be written as total flux upon total area the magnetic flux density out of the surface of a volume would be equivalent to total flux upon the area and area of an irregular Gaussian surface can be calculated by taking up a small area ds and integ in integrating it over the entire surface. I can write the area as surface integral of ds, small small surfaces totaled up over the entire surface of a volume gives us the area and a little rearrangement gives me b dot ds to be equivalent to 
total flux and total flux is zero so if flux is represented in terms of magnetic flux density then it is multiplied by the area and that gives us b dot ds to be equivalent to zero and this is Maxwell's second equation in integral form. Now applying divergence theorem on vector B I could say that the normal component of magnetic flux density coming out of the entire surface is equivalent to the divergence of magnetic flux density coming out of the volume of that surface so that is what the divergence theorem says but we know that uh, B dot ds is zero from here what we've derived I can label it as one now from one B dot ds is zero and comparing the right hand side I can say that divergence of B is zero which is Maxwell's second equation in differential form now please understand this equation divergence of B is equivalent to zero is nothing but a mathematical expression of the fact that monopoles do not exist or it is an expression of the fact that all the flux line emanating from the north pole of the magnet will eventually fall into the south pole of the magnet so the net flux leaving the surface of a volume will always be equivalent to zero in case of a static magnet placed inside a volume and that is how simple the Maxwell's second equation is and that is it for today's lecture I hope this lecture was quick and easy and if you found this lecture helpful go ahead and click that like button and share if you want consider subscribing to the channel for more such videos and you have a good day good life bye